look. Let me see. Let me see who's online. Um, because if Magnus and Right Arm are playing, Ollie Res. Actually, I'll ch let me challenge Ollie Res to some Blitz. Uh, let's play Blitz. Okay, let's play Knight Three. Okay, real chess. Let's play Blitz. Would B three. I'm just going to take and play bishop b2. Go c4 here. Streamer versus designer, exactly. The classic matchup that everybody wants to see. Uh, now I'm going to go queen c2 here. I mean, I have knight a4 somewhere. I also just have e4, which I don't think is a good move, actually. I think I'm going to go long. I'm going to go long here. goes a5 i mean i assume king b1 is fine a4 i just take the pawn i'm not worried about it yet knight c8 hangs a pawn in the center i mean this is interesting this is actually a very interesting position which is probably a bad thing since it's so interesting i'm probably gonna get too interested in it and blunder somewhere it's very i would love to analyze this in, with more time so it's an interesting position he's got the double pawns here um I'm going to play Rook DE1. I don't know if it's best. Goes F5. For some reason, I thought F5 wasn't actually a move here. But apparently it is. I guess I take and play Knight B5. Oh, I also have Knight F3. Wait, I also have Knight F3. Wait, this is interesting. This is where I should think and not blitz out a move. Because this is not trivial for either side. Okay, so I play knight f3. I have knight b5. Knight b5 looks wrong. I think knight f3, e4. e4 just takes. d4, knight b5 looks fine. It's not ideal, but it's... Eh, definitely not ideal, actually. Knight b5, knight 6 takes, takes queen e2. Could also play knight takes e5 here, maybe. Um, okay, I'm thinking this is blitz. This is not this. This isn't like classical chess. I can't. I can't really be thinking for ten years here. What am I doing? Yeah, I. I, can't, I just can't think for ten years. So I just have to move. <laughs> Guess I'll just do this. Yeah, I don't know why even a4 is just a ridiculously bad move. Yeah, I'm just thinking way too long here. There's just not much, there's no reason for this tank. Yeah, I just threw this game for no reason. Wait, I spent all this time trying to figure it out. I guess I'll go here. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like suddenly treating this like a game of classical chess for no reason. <laughs> This isn't classical chess, you gotta move. And I'm down 30 seconds and I have a bad position. Very unlikely that I'll survive this. If I get really lucky, maybe I will. Got like bishop e7 or something too. I don't know if I like h6 though, because now he has problems with the central pawn. I mean, he has d3, but then I... Okay, wait. I think I just go here. I mean, I'm not actually that concerned. Because I'm getting some center play here. And time has evened out here as well. Of course, he has rook g6, which I didn't see. Ugh. It's 
Still some small chances though. What is Ali Reza doing? Wait, what the heck is he actually doing here? Just mate and Uno. There we go. Need a lassie. That was a bad choke. Need a Bernada and Joe Ignore. That's that. That was a bit of a choke by Ali Reza. He should have won that game. That was not good. Hikaru effect exactly. That was very poor. Um. Okay. Queen B six and Knight C six of course. Yeah. Very very poor from Ali Reza. C five. Right. So this is still kind of theory. Rook B eight. Now I just develop and play like, at some point I have knight a5 too as a move. Castle. It was bishop b5. Um, I think knight a5 and b6 is always in line. Knight h5 also a move here, I believe, to hit the bishop if I'm not mistaken. He lost because he's changing his outfit. Okay, you guys, no need to be like rude about it. I mean, come on, stop, stop being ridiculous. Okay, so if I take and play g4, I can also go f6 here, which I think is fine. Yeah, I think f6 is completely fine. I just take care of any weird stuff happening in the center with like a 95 jump. All the rest is still a million times better than us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, chat's weird. Like, as soon as I got a losing position, you guys are like losing to a fashion designer. Then all the rest starts blending her like, part-time gm fashion full-time fashion designer like everybody's really in like full troll mode kind of weird actually <laughs> um i'll go um i think i don't a6 is a move i think queen e8 must be right though because i assume he's got to play in the center of the board and so i'm gonna play a6 and force him to trade yeah it's like chat's acting really weird Thank you so much a young log for the prime. Thank you so much a young log. Appreciate it. I was really lucky last game, though, because that was a terrible game. I mean, wait, what? 95? Oh, wait, no, it's guarded. He just takes. What am I thinking? Ridiculous. Ridiculous, as they say um, in the good old book. Let's play G4, kick the knight out of town. I can play f5. I can also just play b6, which I think also makes a lot of sense here. I don't know which way I take. I can take c or a. I don't actually know which one's right. I think c takes is correct, just instinctually. Play as queen d1. Now, I could take, but I think f5 is just a good move to create a nice little chain of pawns. The funny thing is, since I played this order, maybe now I take and I try to go for c5. Very, very hard to judge. I don't actually know which capture is correct. Your rook takes is also possible, too. Oof. I have no idea. I'm going to... I think I'm going to take with a rook. I don't know. I want to actually look at this after the game. So I'm kind of curious whether this was correct. I, I actually want to see which captures was correct. I mean, maybe it's just going to say white was better no matter which way I captured, but I'm, I'm actually curious. Things are said it's Irina Chan. Thank you so much, Sloney, for the two month uh, two month resub as well. Okay, so I trade. I go here, of course. Trade. Decent position. He's a little bit weak on the queen side. So if I can if I can get like queen six and rook b eight, I'm I'm gonna win the game. But he has knight a four, which he accurately spots. Um. Uh, I guess I'll go rook b5. Okay, so I take, I mean, I'm looking to line up a legendary triple somewhere. Maybe queen g6 is actually better here. 
so that I have a four tricks later on. And I can also go rook c8 still in line with the, the double stack. If I go queen c6, he has f3 and fg4. Let's go here. Go here. Bad move, by the way. I gave him queen b3. Very bad move by me. Um, let's go here. Go here. Oh, a5 is a horrible move, too. What the heck? <sighs> horrible move. Oh, that's just ridiculous by me. Oh, I slipped. Oh, I meant to go. Uh, I mean, I just slipped. Probably was losing anyway, but uh, whatever. Rook takes B3. Rook takes B2. Oh, I had Rook takes B2 in between. Yes, I missed Rook takes B2. You're right. Rook takes B2 is winning. Uh, I should have won that one. But I should have lost the first one, so it all evens out in a way. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, let's go here. Bishop H4. Uh, why did I, how did I miss Rook takes B2? That's really bad. That's horrible. Rook takes B2 and I just win that game 99% of the time. No bueno. No estan bueno. Okay, let's go A4. Actually, I should have played A3. What does A4 do? Uh, does nothing in fact. <laughs> yeah, why did I play A4? Such a bad move. I'm just going to retreat and play bishop g3. Is this a competition? No, this is, we're just playing casual blitz for fun. Um, doesn't mean that I don't still want to play well, but yeah, this is very chill. How did I miss rook takes b2? That is just so bad. So, so bad by me. Chess is no fun. Chess can be fun. Chess can also not be fun. It can be a bit of everything. Uh, this does give me rook d7 here. I mean, his knight is very mildly offside. So if I could somehow... I want to bring the knight around. How do I bring my knight around? I think I might go knight, e knight, knight e1 and knight d3 and maybe knight c2. I think I want to go f3 also, though. Um, f3 makes sense here because now I can bring my knight, bring my bishop back. Probably this is just going to be a draw. Fairly balanced after, la after the last two games, which were very choppy. Should have lost the first one. Should have won the second one. Order flipped, but it's what it is. Okay, let's go. D3 or C2, also a big question mark. My assumption is C2 is right, because I always have Bishop E1 to hit the pawn. And then if I get B4, I, should, I mean, again, probably just very drawish, but some small chances. Oh, I also have knight a3, knight c4, I just realized. Maybe some chances. Actually, maybe some chances. Yeah, maybe there's some chance here with knight c4, actually. Maybe. Probably not really, but maybe. Maybe. Okay, goes for it. So I go here. Okay, so wait. So I can play rook d3. The knight c2 is no good. Again, I probably should have used more time. I don't know why I just blitz this out without even thinking. Let's just go for this. All right, it's got a take. I take. b6, knight c4 takes. Okay, 3 rook d1, and he's got knight d2 or some nonsense, and it's just a draw. Well, maybe it's a draw. Maybe not. I have rook a3. Maybe not. I have king here, trade, and rook b3. Obviously, this, is, this should be a draw, so, but it's not trivial. I can also run the king, maybe. Knight f1, king f1. Oh, 
Actually, maybe this is not trivial at all for Black. Check. King Fair. No, it's not trivial at all, actually. I don't see it. He he can he can prove to me where the draw is because I don't I actually don't see it. After here here I run out, and he's getting so low on time here. It's hard for me to see where it can where exactly it exists. F five. I just he just resigns. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I played e four. It's funny to play d four again. Oh, whatever. Go here. Thank you so much to Twitch Jameson. Thank you so much to Reese Frond. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys. See what he does here. I mean, I'm surprised. Ali Reza is apparently out of his theory, even though this is stuff that's been played for a long time. The plebs are grumbling outside the city gates, yeah. Was Bishop E2? Oh, wait, no, this is just the main lot. Actually, is this? Maybe this is, or maybe this isn't. I'm a little confused. No, this is actually just the main line. Never mind. This is just the main line. Was Ali Reza faster before he became a fashion designer? I mean, I don't, I don't know um, what's going on with Ali Reza, but like I said, I feel like in general... His play is still very good, but at least online, he doesn't it doesn't feel as crisp as it once did. That's just again, that's just my personal take. I mean, you don't have to believe it, but that's just my personal take. Somehow it doesn't feel as crisp as it once was. There should be three, I think is it's not a mistake, but it's not the best move. I think I go here. I think I go uh here in King E6. And I think I'm actually relatively okay. Because I can just take and go King E6 and Bishop H6. You can obviously try it, but after takes, takes, just even bishop e7, I think I'm just completely fine. Danny beat him 83-52 in a 30-second match. There you go. Well, 30-second, you know my, you, everybody knows my opinions about 30-second chess, so that's not really saying much. Okay, does play it. Interesting. So, I guess I just take. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows my opinion about 30-second chess, so that's not really, that's not saying a whole lot. Let's leave it at that. Um... Let me think about it. So I can play bishop h6 here. I can go bishop e7 also. If I play rook g8, I mean, if he takes, I just take. I This doesn't look good for white, actually. This looks very bad for white, in fact. If I get rook g4, I just win the game. Because he loses pawns, and I can even double stack. And he has to take. I check. I'm going to go rook f6. Okay, he plays a4, so he's trying to go b4. I don't know. This doesn't look right. Play a5. Well, now I just check. And I'm going to go C. Yeah, but this, I mean, this should really never be working in any world, basically. Yeah, but there's just a4. I mean, if I go king... I mean, this just doesn't look right, objectively. Go here. Check. I mean, it's just lost. Rook b2 and a2.
Okay, starting to slowly wake up. Three to one, not the worst thing ever. Just gonna play A3 here, something slow and happy. But Jesus with the prime and Ebound with the prime. I'm gonna play H3. I don't have to, but it's still a move. Um, I guess I'll just uh, I can play knight g5 maybe. I think I'll do it. Because d5, I'm just gonna take and go queen h5, and I think that's winning for me. I hope to die. Uh of course I just castle. He plays h6, I drop back. And he's gonna go like bishop e6 or something. I can obviously trade if I want to. I also don't have to trade. Like knight e2, knight g3. Or knight h4. Maybe just knight e2 first. I'll go knight h4, and then knight g3 next move. Oh, did I hang e4? Oh, no, I've got bishop f7, I guess. I also have queen h5 as well. Title Tuesday is on a Wednesday. No, thank you, Kid Bra, for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. So he goes d5, logical move. Um, queen f3 is a reasonable move here. Queen e2 is probably fine too. Knight f5 is also probably completely fine. I mean, everything here is very dry though, like very super dry. So I'm gonna play knight f5. Basically, see where he puts the knight. He can always trade pawns as well, and we just play chess. Uh, queen f3 now is a move here. And I think it's a pretty good one at that. Knight g6. So I have c3 here, I guess, which is completely fine. Maybe b4 ideas. Maybe I just play for d4. Hard to judge. Yeah, bishop f8. I expected that. That's a pretty obvious looking move. Um, assume rookie one must be correct just to put pressure on the um, center of the board. Knight h7. Very logical. Um... I could try to play d4 maybe here already. I also have knight h5 maybe. I'm going to go knight h5. I don't know if it's a good move, but it's a move. Do I think 30 second chess on Lee Chess is equivalent to one minute chess on chess.com? Um, I don't know. It's, I feel like I've been asked something similar before. I'll just go here, just keep developing. Don't even know if bishop e3 is the best move, but it seems like a move to be played. If knight g5, I think I can go queen g4. Very, very hard to judge what's, what's going on here. Yeah, people are saying because of server speed, exactly. f6, however, does give me h4. Because now after takes, takes... Okay, it goes bishop f7. This doesn't look right, though, to me. I could be wrong, but this looks suspicious. Somehow this looks very suspicious to me after queen g3. I don't know, this looks very, very suspicious. Like, can I even just take and go h5 or something? I can even play d4 here. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Don't blunder this. So after takes, take h5, knight g5. I think d4 is actually a good move here. Can't take. I mean, there's knight g7. There's also takes. I mean, I feel like, I'll... oh, wait, now e4 is hand. Wait, why did I do that? Wait. Wait, but I can also take and... Wait a second. Takes. Because now the knight hangs at the end of this line. Actually, wait. The knight's hanging on g6. And d's knights are super powerful on f5 and h5. Thank you so much to uh, Miguel for the prime. Thank you so much to Miguel. Appreciate it. Thank you for the prime. Trade. I take. And now, I mean, this is just crushing. D's knights, just too powerful. D's knights for the win. Mag is going for 3,400. I don't know, you guys. I'm not paying attention to that. Uh, let's just take. He takes. Now, again, knight g7 probably is good enough, but even just... Let me think about this. If I just take, queen takes d5. Thing is, if I if I grab the pawn... Uh, this looks right to me. You can obviously take, but I have knight e6. I also have knight h6, and knight e6, knight f7, and d's knights are just crashing through. Takes in here. This should be gg. Thank you so much to error for the two months. Thank you so much to error for the two months. Appreciate it. Right, but now I just... Oh, he's got... Rook... Wait, no, rook a7, I have knight e6. And I'm still threatening mate and uno. 
And I'm also covering the queen and square, both the queen and the rook. So these knights are just too powerful here. Yeah, I'm going to win again. Since when is Ali Reza a fashion designer? Well, he gave an interview um, and he spoke about it at length. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's stay solid with e5 here. No need to get cheeky. Play Ikmi and I'm in Berliner. I probably should have played the Ali Ekans again just to see what his idea was. Many different lines. Let's play Queen d6 again. Not, not even the best move, but it's a line. Is it okay to pursue another profession? Um, I think I spoke about this a little bit recently. I mean, my general, my general take on the whole thing is quite simple. Um, I'm going to play Bishop g4. There's nothing wrong with it, but if Ali Reza takes too long away from chess, it will um, catch up with him. Go here, take... Is Bishop d4 a move? Bishop e5, queen e5. Looks like a move, so I'm going to play it. Um, so yeah, so where, what was I saying? I was saying something else. Yeah, I was saying basically, I mean, I don't think it's a big deal at the moment. Um, but basically at some point, if all at some point, once all has taken too long away from chess, it will catch up with him and he, he will stop improving. So right now I think like he just needs a break from chess. It's all good. Who cares? Like it's his life. Let it go. Um, but yeah, basically at some point, if, if Ali Reza takes too long away from it, he will he will have basically reached his peak, and there will be no more improvement coming. Now, I do have F5 here as a move. Um, kind of like it, Ash, so I'm going to play it. Right now, though, I think it's completely irrelevant. Let me put it that way. I think right now, who cares? He's just having fun. Let him have his fun. Let him let him live his life. It uh, doesn't really change much. Uh, but I do think, like, at some point going forward, that, that yes, it, it will catch up with him if he, if he keeps... If he, if he basically decides this is what he wants to do with his life. Um, why did I play that? That was such a bad move by me. Um, I guess I'll go here and here. Okay, so he's happy to trade. So now I go knight c6. And I'm slightly worse here probably. But it shouldn't be anything too crazy. I mean, I think if he takes a year away, it still won't make much of a difference. Considering the level he's at. But I think if he takes much more than one year off, it will start to catch up. I'm going to play h6 and g5 here, I guess. Yeah, I thought he would do that. Now, the question is, I don't even know if I should play g6, but I don't care. I will anyway. It was g4, also an interesting move. Um, don't actually like it, because I think I run my king up. Go here. And the question is, do I play b5 or not? I think I'll just play rook d8 for now. Okay, let's play b6. Just keep this very solid. I don't even know what, why did I even do that? That doesn't do anything. Um, try to do something on the, um, on the queen side if I can. Yeah, there's not. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go for it. Why not? I, I have rook b8 here, and b3 maybe. It's just got rook a1. If I go b3, what's happening? B3, king c1, rook b4, king. I'm going to go for it. Why not? It's probably very wrong, by the way. But I want to try to win this. I don't know. It's probably stupid, but whatever. Who cares? I guess I'll play like here.
Somehow I feel like this should be winning for me. I think this is actually just winning for me. Wait. Wait, this is Zugzvang, I think. Yeah, this is Zugzvang. Or no, it's... Wait, no, it's not. No, this should just be winning for me. Oh, wait. Okay, I gotta go here. Yeah, now I win side king c3. Or king b3. There we go! Another win! Big, big win. We're up 5-1. We've won five in a row. We've basically, we've adopted Ali Reza, which is always a good thing. At, at the age he's at, it's kind of hard to believe that I could I even do that. But it's a McDoption. Let's play d4, knight b5. Thank you so much to Bob Longer. Thank you so much to Marjan Max Marish. Thank you so much to W Yums. Thank you to Howdraft and GK Grabaust. Now, this, I believe, is a mistake because of Bishop f4. He played the wrong order. He needed the knight on f6. Now, Ali Reza's in a world of hurt here. I think he's just lost. Yeah, this is not good from Ali Reza. No, no, I'm talking Blitz. And Bullet, of course. Like, in Bullet, I could, I could, I mean, not that I could, but it's possible to adopt. And in Blitz, it's impossible. Now, the good news here is that this is still the opening, and Ali Reza's burning all his clock. Now, this doesn't look right at all. Um, I guess I'll check. I don't know if this... Whoa, King F6. Holy moly, moly, moly. What the heck? Okay, wait a second. Wait a second, bro. Wait a second. But he does have age six, maybe. No, no, no. This is no, what is he doing? He's getting miniatured here. What is Ali Reza doing? Wait a second. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is a little bit much, dude. A little bit much. No, I mean this is just completely lost. Yeah, this is this is no bueno. Yeah, I just go check. Check and queen off side. I mean, total disaster here. So I also have bishop d3 check, which is mate. I have queen g6 mate. I mean, uh-oh. Uh, okay, he's trying desperately to hang on here. Okay, 97. I mean, somehow he's found a way. He's found a way. I got to give him credit. Like, go there and g4, for example. Actually, I think I'm just going to go... Wait, I'm thinking too long here. I can also just play g4, maybe. Now let's just go here. It's very crude to play g4, but it's just basically I'm saying I can check and you don't even have a blockader here. But I think it's pretty much game over anyway. I mean, I guess he can... Yeah, he just resigned. 